Twitter. You guys, I was just on my regular personal page talking about this for about 10 minutes now and just realized because I saw somebody pop on that is not on this team and I was like, somebody's been listening to me talk about like sales and Sensi and all this stuff like crazy. Yeah, not good. I'm like, did any of you catch that? Because not good. So I thought I was talking to you guys, but okay, I'm here to talk to you. I have to like catch up with 10 minutes that I just wasted and I was like in a rhythm here. So I'm here to talk to you about um, attraction marketing and being your brand, okay? So when you join Sensi, I know it's it's it seems easy and it seems like the right thing to do to be like posting stock photos and links and like, you know, you guys know that I always say don't post stock photos, don't post links, even if it's in the comments, like don't be that person. Don't be that person because um you know, there's two reasons why I say this is number one, because of the algorithm and social media, Facebook owns Facebook and Instagram, and they have algorithms. And I've done a few videos about algorithms. But to make a long story short, for any of you new guys out there, number one, you can go watch my video about the algorithm, it will help you. And, you know, it's, it's pretty much rules that Facebook or Instagram have put in place to kind of weed out the spammy clickbait um, salesy activity. Okay. So Facebook has seen a decrease in users because they believe of all the business activity of everybody trying to push their direct sales, multi-level marketing businesses. So they put these rules in place. Now I, I, I tell you like posting links, you know, stock photos, a lot of like repeat wording or, um, you know, copy paste pictures, things like that, that instantly flags the algorithm. And so you may be getting some views or some engagement, but it's only a small percentage of your viewers and you're really limiting yourself by doing that. And, you know, yes, you may get some orders, but it's probably the same people. And I don't say to not do that just because of orders. Okay. I want you to look at the big picture here. And it's number one for the algorithm because if you're trying to use social media as an asset in your business, then you've got to do it the right way. And the rules are in place because of posting stock photos, selling your business, and links. Even if they're in the comments, it's part of the algorithm now. Okay, so they're in place for a reason because people don't want to see it. So yes, you may feel like this is working. Like I have people ordering from me. Like I'm good. But if you're trying to build a business and an income, I want you to look at the big picture. And the big picture is that it's salesy. It's salesy. And 99% of you guys that join say, I don't want to be that salesy person. Because when you're posting photos, stock photos, products, and you know, selling, 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 links, whatever, then you look like um, Colleen Regan, the Sensi Consultant. And I am not Colleen Regan, the Sensi Consultant. I mean, yes, I am, but I am not that person. That's not who makes me who I am, right? I am my brand. I am not just Sensi pushing Sensi down people's throat. Um, because going back to what we always say, this is a relationship building business. It's a relationship building business. And yes, we're in direct sales. It's what we do. But you're selling your brand and yourself. You're, the products will come as long as you're selling yourself in your brand because people, will, people won't care if you're selling popsicle sticks. Like they'll buy it as long as they know you, they like you, and they trust you. Okay? So yes, you, you may be able to get orders and people shopping through your link. But if you're going to try to build a business, you have to think about how people are viewing you. Because most of you have said it when you join, I don't want to be that salesy person. And then we get excited because we just want to see PRV and orders and money, right? So then we just like kind of forget about it and just post, 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 F post products, products, products. We're selling, we're selling, we're selling. But is that how people are getting to know you? Because you don't want people to think that you're just the Sensi consultant, that you're just trying to get orders, orders, orders. You're selling the products. You want orders. You need sales. You need sales. You need sales. Because that looks spammy. 
right? That looks like you're just a salesy, sensey consultant trying to make money and get their orders, right? But to look at the big picture, people, if they know you and they like you and they trust you, they'll buy anything from you. You're going to create a customer base that is like ride or die for you, that is wanting to host parties in that want to join you. And that's what I want to get at, okay? Is because are you making what you do desirable? Or they're looking at you thinking, I, I don't want to do that. I would never want to be like putting out all these stock photos and links. Like I, I, I don't want to be like people judging me and people looking at me. You know, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. So people could be looking at you thinking, I don't want to do what she does. I don't want to be that person. You have to think about what you're putting out there because are you attracting people with your brand or are you pushing them away, right? So does your job look desirable? Does it seem simple or does it seem complicated? Does it seem like, you know, they're going to always have to be posting on social media and posting photos and links and, you know, like they're going to be bothering their friends and family because I want you to think about this. Have you at one time either said to me or your sponsor um, or thought about like you're holding yourself back because you don't want to bother your audience? I hear it from you guys all the time. Okay. And the way to not do that is by being your brand, being you. Go back to being you because people will buy from you because they know you and they trust you, okay? But you've got to think about the big picture. It may get you some sales this month and next month by posting the, the products and the links, but in the long run, those customers are only going to be customers. They may be, you know, one-time customers. They may come and go. They may buy from you more than once, but... When you're looking at the big picture in your brand, you guys, you're not building anything but sales, sales, sales. And I don't want you to do that because if you want longevity in this company, then you've got to be your brand. Now, what is your brand? You've got to think about, you know, like uh, three to five things that make up you, who you are, that make you relatable to your audience, right? Right? Not just I sell Sensi, I sell Sensi, I sell Sensi because again, people are going to be like, oh my God, she's posting another thing. She wants another order. Like build bonds and relationships with people and friendships and genuinely so that people are going to want to host parties with you and they're going to want to refer people to you and they're going to want to join you because what you're doing seems genuine Because people already have this idea in their mind of what direct sales is and it's scammy and it's spammy and it's salesy. So when you're doing products, 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 selling, 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 links, 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 then they're they're like, right, I mean, I'll I'll buy something because I I want it or I want to support her because she just joined or like whatever it is, but it's going to get old after a while. So it goes back to you being you, girl. So my brand is... I'm a twin mom. I'm a mom. How relatable is that? I mean, most of my audience are mothers or, you know, it it humanizes me. It makes me who I am, right? They know me and they can trust me. They know I don't have any malicious intent or I'm not just trying to get into their pocket and get an order and advance my business. Like I'm relating to them on another level. I talk about my children. Everything that I post on social media is intentional. Everything down to my personal life. Because my personal life is my brand. It's who I am. This, is, this business is my life, right? I am my business. My business is me. But it's through my brand, okay? So my children, my weight loss journey. Lost 120 pounds. Lost it in like a year and a half. And it's been three years now. So, you know, maintaining it. So people know this and I'm open about it. And, you know, I like to share healthy recipes. And, you know, people ask me like what I'm doing, how I'm doing, blah, 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 because that's relatable. Everybody is like struggling either with self image or, you know, trying to get healthy. It's, it's constant, right? And then like traveling, who doesn't like to travel? Who doesn't like to travel? Everybody does. And coffee, people, and Catherine said, I like to travel and people, oh, coffee, people associate me with Mary Lou's because Like, I'm always drinking coffee. I thrive off of coffee. I'll post, like, coffee memes, like, different funny things because 
it's part of my brand because those things make me relatable. Me being a Sensi consultant, you know, pushing products all day, all day, links, 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 that is not making me relatable at all, okay? Yes, you may get some orders from it, but I want you to think about this. If you want longevity, you've got to think about are you attracting people to you? Because people are watching whether they're saying it, liking, commenting, buying or not. They're watching you because by you saying like through my brand, I'll be like, you know, I was able to buy my first home, right? I was able to stay home with my children and be a stay-at-home mom. Like I'm able to put my kids in any activity they want and that's attracting people to me. Because it's real and I'm talking about my brand. I'm not talking about, you know, buy Amber Glow, here's the link. I'm talking about, then they have me, they, they're looking at me like, huh, what is she doing? Like, I want to do that. But I'm going to watch her a little bit. I'm going to watch her a little bit closer. Because people don't want to join a business and have to do spammy things. Like, they're going to look at that and be like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to bother my audience. Like, I can't do that. Everybody joins and is like, I can't do that. You know, people are very unwilling to go outside of their comfort zone. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to do spammy things as they shouldn't because that is why direct sales has a bad rep is because of the spammy clickbait salesy activity. Okay. So go back to your brand Okay, and then if you want, if there's something that's coming out that you like have to share it and post a photo or a stock photo, yeah, go ahead, do it. But if you look on my social media, go look at my Facebook or even my Instagram, you will maybe once or twice a year, you'll see me post a link. Very rarely, if you see like a Walmart or something in the photo, it's because I'm like, you know, showing how I decorate my house and I'll like throw it in there so people see how I use it and it gives them an idea of like how they could use it or use it in their house or oh that looks so cute it's like a decoration too I want I want one but I'm not posting like you know here's a new warmer you have to buy this link 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 and then like a few minutes later I'm posting something else and then a few minutes later and then tomorrow and then the next day Mm -mm. because how are people gonna know you like you and trust you through that they're not. They don't know that you're, they don't feel like they have a connection with you, you know, because people only care what you know until they know that you care. And I've said that to a few of you guys this past week with my coaching calls because it's something that I learned and it's true. If you if you want to have the joint conversation with somebody and you're like, you know, I think I know that you're in like a financial situation right now and I know that you would benefit from having a few extra bucks a month and would be able to do this like on your own schedule you should you know let's have a conversation about this like I think that you could totally do this and if they don't know you and you're approaching them about this they're gonna be like how do you know like you just want to advance your business you're just looking for sales you're just looking to make money but when they know that you care they're gonna take your advice and they're gonna be like really Tell me about it. You know what I mean? I want you to actually be genuine. Like there's no manipulation in this at all. At all. So it goes back to being genuine and being your brand. Be your brand. Don't be the Sensi consultant. People will know that you sell Sensi when they get to know you. And then they're going to love Sensi because they love you. And they want to have whatever you have. I love it. And because you do Sensi, because you like save products and you want you know you trust those products around your family then they're gonna be like oh I trust her like I want those products around my family and you know you're like this opportunity can help you make money or like whatever you want to do and because they know you and they trust you and you have credibility with them they'll take to heart what you said like I think you could totally do this you'll really have them thinking about it promise I promise Okay, so I just wanted to come and talk about that really quick and um, I hope you get something out of that. But I really encourage you guys to, you know, attraction marketing is much, much better than direct marketing, which is 
posting pictures, products, selling links. Attraction marketing is where we are now in social media and in our society because you need to make your job desirable and you know, have people want what you have. But obviously in a genuine way, you need to be completely honest and real about it. People aren't going to get to know that part of you or that part of this business if you're just selling products and posting links. I promise. And I'm only saying that because I love you guys and because I want you to do well in this business. Um, so that's that. Happy Saturday. I'll talk to you guys later.